Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Looks like we are going to dodge the bullet in terms of a direct impact from any tropical weather. Ernesto is going to continue moving west closer to uh, Mexico's coast along the Bay of Campeche than uh, anywhere near the Rio Grande Valley. In the center of the screen, what's left of Florence is expected to continue moving west-northwest toward the Bahamas or east of the Bahamas, and then another tropical low off the coast of Africa. It could become something down the road, so we'll keep an eye on that. But the real story for now is Ernesto, is it is forecast to track west-northwest across the Yucatan and uh, basically across the Bay of Campeche and then back again over toward Veracruz, south of the state of Tamaulipas. You can see that the storm, the yellow line, the green to yellow line in the middle represents how strong it will be. Green represents the tropical storm strength. Yellow is hurricane strength, hurricane category one strength. So it's expected to flare up to category one ranking before it hits the Yucatan. And then, of course, over the Yucatan, it'll be beat up pretty bad at end of just a tropical storm. And then it may very well get another breath of air, breath of life just before it makes landfall along the coast of Mexico there, well south of the Rio Grande Valley. Right now the storm is more than 1,200 miles east-southeast of Brownsville, so this is basically going to be a potential shower generator for us next week, but that's about all. Thursday to Friday, we could see an added chance for showers as a result, but again, not a huge impact at all. Overnight temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 70s. Your Tuesday forecast, well, it continues the odd chance for a, or a chance for an odd shower, a thunder shower in the afternoon with the sea breeze blowing in, but overall temperatures are going to be in the upper 90s to near 100. So again, we urge everyone to help out with the Beat the Heat program between Action 4 and the Salvation Army by bringing a new box fan or a cash donation by the Salvation Army location in McAllen at 1600 North 23rd. Futurecast takes us through into the middle of the week with a chance for you know, one or two bits of uh, afternoon shower or thunder shower activity as the sea breeze presses in. Wednesday is probably the least likely day that we'll see any of that as we'll have some sinking air around our region. But then Thursday to Friday it improves as Ernesto makes its way onshore down there in Mexico. It may push enough moisture up this far north to give us a few extra showers and then lingering opportunity for afternoon showers on Saturday and bouncing around through the early part of next week. No substantial rain in the forecast, but keep your fingers crossed. We could always use any amount of rain around here. Let's get the cotton out of the field and then bring some really good rain in here. That's a look at your tornado.